What's up guys? Welcome to David vs. Film. I am David, yo soy David. On this channel I watch both older and newer movies alike to offer you honest reactions. My style tends to be tongue in cheek, so please keep that in mind, but also know that I have the utmost respect for all the films, their creators, and their fans. For all you returning viewers, and especially you returning subscribers, what's up? If you have not yet subscribed and you would like to join our merry band of misfits and superstars, go ahead and click subscribe now. Be sure to also click the notification bell, that way you're alerted when I've uploaded new content, and it also helps our channel grow immensely. Tonight we are going head to head with The Fly, 1986. I put a poll out on YouTube earlier today saying that it was a rainy, dreary day, cold. Uh, here in Houston, and it made me want to watch something horror slash sci-fi, sci-fi slash horror, and I put out The Fly, The Purge, and The Invisible Man, all three of which we're going to watch eventually, but today I wanted you guys to choose, and you went for The Fly. So here we are. I don't know a lot about The Fly. First time watching. I do know it has Jeff Goldblum, Gina Davis, uh, 1986. I know a little bit about it only because there used to be an exhibit or an attraction, I guess you'd say, at Universal Studios Florida that I saw when I was a kid called like the Makeup Horror Special Effects Show or something like that. And they showed a part of the fly. They showed the practical effects and how they used to do things and the, the magic behind the, the effects and whatnot. So I've seen that uh, and they showed a few clips from the movie, but that by no means a movie makes. So I don't know anything about the rest of it. I'm really looking forward to it. It's one of those I've wanted to see for a long time. So kudos to you guys for making that happen today. I've got my peach tea here. If you guys have seen previous videos, you know all about the peach tea. I've got my peace and serenity candle. I don't think this will be a scary movie. I'm not ex expecting that. I'm expecting more of kind of gross out from what a few of you have said, which I'm totally fine with that. Uh, but you never know. God knows there are parts of the thing that scared the out of me so who knows we'll see where we go but needless to say i'm good on this end if you guys are good on your end then let's just sit back relax and jump right into the fly 1986. you guys like this shirt it's by far the stupidest shirt i own which means that it is also by far my favorite okay so it's probably i'm overthinking it i know surprise but the kind of blurred movement in the background looks kind of like flies or like larvae or something like that so it's a gathering of 80s fashion i'm working on something that'll change the world you'll have to be more specific uh, you could come back to my lab mm. i feel like jeff goldblum is one of those actors where either you love him or you hate him and if you love him you love him in everything he's always jeff goldblum and he's always amazing i i, I clearly i love him gina davis what in these supercuts hell is that? I hate vehicles. Should I drive more slow? No, no, no. Just turn left. In this piece of there. you should, yeah. Be careful, girl. Maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> she saw the pods. Oh, it's too late. You've already seen them. Can't let you leave here alive. Ooh. I call them telepods. They're controlled by this. So, uh, what do they do, the phone booths? Telepods. The phone booths. Say, do you have something uh, on you that's uh, personal? An item of clothing or jewelry? He's like, oh, good God, a watch would be fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brundle, Seth? Ooh, this was high tech back then. This was some high tech back then. Keep your eye on the stocking. This is when he lifts her wallet. I'm sure he doesn't want to do it, but man's got to pay for pods. He's like, look. It's so interesting because I think this was a couple of years before she won her Academy Award for The Accidental Tourist. And it's so interesting to me to watch them. You know, now, years later, seeing how they are, watching their acting patterns emerge, watching what we now know to be their characteristics in the early days of when they first started getting comfortable with their their acting personalities, I guess, for lack of a better way to put it. Oh, wait a minute. Did you take my wallet? Where's my stocking? That's it, the real one. Your stocking has just been teleported from one pod to another. I mean, all kidding aside, I would think that was really super cool if I was there. This would have been like a really fun Saturday night. 
This is whoa, 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 Kevin McAllister with the talk boy. I mean, it's not possible, is it? Okay, so joking aside for a second, I'm assuming she's a reporter, would be my guess. I've, he's obviously a scientist, researcher. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have shown you this. Particle Magazine sent me to that party to get a story. And this is the most exciting thing I've ever seen. Don't you dare write a story. I'd never have told any of this stuff to a journalist. That's what the project really is. So. Oh, I hate indoor plants. What do you think? It's a joke. What? He's conning you. I was there. I saw it. Oh, Carl Sagan in the background. Sure. Send him in. Stathis Barnes, I'm the editor of Particle Magazine. Uh, I just Stathis. wanted to tell you that I didn't approve this interview. Yes, my Jeff Goldblum nailed it. You don't have to say, I, I know. He thinks you're a con man. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, he's like, lucky me. Don't have to worry now. I've come here to say one magic word to you. Cheeseburger. <laughs> that worked for me, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> I've been working alone too long. I can only teleport inanimate objects. I mean, I can see where this is going a mile away, but I'm still here for it, and I can't wait to see every moment of weirdness that's to come. Let me become your major project. I'm talking about a book, not a magazine article. A complete record of the most earth-shattering invention ever. I love in movies we make points with food, because the other person's always like, well, now you've convinced me since you showed me the french fry. That, I mean, now I get it. Your book will end with me transporting myself 15 feet through space from one telepod to another. And look, see, there's the look. She's like, God damn it, he got me with a fry. Oh, she's brave. What are you doing in my apartment? Just happen to be in the neighborhood. I have a key, you remember? You gave it to me. Oh, so they had a thing going on. Are you getting out or am I? You want me to come back later and tuck you in? No. In this particular case, and I'm not throwing shade, it's just kind of what I'm thinking at the moment, I don't feel much of a congruency between them. Like it's not bad acting or anything. It's just that scene was just very meh. I mean, I know they're giving, they're just kind of like filling out the details of her character, you know, and kind of texturizing it a little bit, but that felt like a deleted scene that got left in. Five seconds. Oh, not the mic. And where do they get these monkeys from? Is there like some scientific underground where they're like, hey, I need a monkey. And they're like, yeah, we'll send one over in like a private apartment like this. And look at girlfriend with the camcorder. Good for you, Marty McFly. You're totally getting on board now. Oh, that's not good. Let's see this. Oh, good Lord. I know that's probably nothing compared to what's about to come, but. Can't deal with the flesh. It only seems to work with inanimate objects, nothing that's living. Do you ever change your clothes? Yeah, <laughs> it's a fair question. What? He's like, I just look really good in this suit, so I wear it every day. Ah, look at that. Five sets of exactly the same clothes? That's what I would like to do. See, I didn't go to private school. I went to public school, and we didn't have a dress code. Well, I had a dress code and have a uniform. So as an adult now, I actually would love to not have to pick clothes every day. I mean, you see, I'm not very good at it. Well, that didn't take long. The only thing pulling out is that sofa, I guarantee you. Oh, uh, what happened? Uh, oh. I'm gonna kiss it. Oh. Wanna try an experiment? She's like, oh God, don't put me in that pod. Sure. I'd really go get a cheeseburger again. I think they hooked it up for real, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, in like the late 80s, early 90s, I, I want to say that Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis were together for a few years. Oh, mm. okay, it's funny. The computer is giving us its interpretation of a stake. It's uh, translating it for us. It's rethinking it rather than reproducing it, the flesh. She's like, homegirl's still hungry either way. <gasps> well, no one's gonna recognize you with your collars up, particle. The vanity plates might give you away. What are you doing here? I followed you. You stayed with Brundle all night. Why didn't I believe you, I wonder? Yeah, I think he'd look great in this. Don't you? He's hmm? like, oh, don't drag me into this bullshit. I'll just be dancing on the ceiling over here. 
I'll spend the night anywhere I damn well please. It's time for champagne. Who's champagne? The whore they're gonna try to transport? Well, suddenly and he's Babylon wearing different clothes. She's, really She's inspiring him. She's got her Rose Nyland sweater with the button down sleeves rolled up underneath. Very 80s. You son of a bitch. What's this supposed to mean? Your discovery is my discovery. Look, uh, just keep me informed, all right? That's all. Stress relieving sex. You and oh my me. God, dude, you need a hoe. Just go get a hoe and get past all this. Staff is born as her old boyfriend. She's working for her old boyfriend. <laughs> oh, she comes out late at night to see him. What is this, the Ronnie game? That baboon's like, I mean, it's gonna be really hard for me to like overlook what you just put me through, but I mean, I got nowhere else to be. So yeah, let's hang out, Jeff Goldblum. Die in vain. If that's of any comfort Fly. and foreshadowing. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Oh, well, there you go. I don't know why. I just assumed this was going to be like an intentional fly type situation. Uh, I didn't get that. There you go. Now we got now we got problems. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, I see his his gold blooms. So why did he have to take his clothes off? Oh, I guess because different particles might do different things, but... The baboon's like, yeah, I get it. How you doing? You had to celebrate without me. I'm sorry. I went through last night. You could have killed yourself. Are you sleeping with Stathis Barnes? That's why you were upset? I got jealous. Guys can get jealous too, Gina. Don't worry, I taped it for you. Oh, that's kind of cool. That, that's kind of a cool shot. I mean, I don't know if we're supposed to assume those are fly legs coming out of that wound, but that's what I took it to mean when I saw that and then heard the sound effect. Okay, he's making me feel so out of shape. I'm I'm so out of shape at this point that even if I drop money on the ground, I'm like, ah, f it. Every kiss begins with K. The sheer process of being taken apart atom by atom and put back together again. Yeah, I think it's going to allow me to realize the personal potential. Oh, I've been now we're on full on Jeff Goldblum. Now we're on. First 20 minutes of Jurassic Park, Jeff Goldblum, where he is like three bags of cocaine. Human teleportation, molecular decimation, breakdown, and reformation is inherently purging. Waiter, let's go. Move. Catch me if you can. Waiter, Jesus Christ. Are, are you okay? Uh, oh, yeah, I knew they were going to have to upgrade off that sleeper sofa. I knew that wasn't going to support all those new gymnastics that he's into. I've been doing this for hours. What's this? It's an attempt to distract me, that's right. They're really coarse. It's looking kind of peaked. Relax, Brendel. I don't really think you want a body covered with these. I want you to go through. I want to teleport you as soon as possible, right now. I, I told you I'm scared to do it. What do I have to say? I'm not going to do it. You're a fucking drag, you know mm. that? Oh. Something went wrong. A little bit. I'll find somebody else. Somebody who can keep up with me. Oh, Seth. he's being an ass now. Drink deep or taste not the plasma spring. See what I'm saying? He's acting like he's the assistant manager at the Dairy Queen. He's just drunk with power. Into the plasma pool. <laughs> Ooh, he's losing it. This is the Blue Oyster. Oh, the scotch. Who's winning? I got a hundred bucks says I can beat either one of you. <laughs> and I get to take the lady home for the night if I win. Kind of playing it fast and loose with the word lady there, Seth. <laughs> oh! Whoa, 
Well, that was the unexpected. Okay. Oh, God. All right, all right. We, we, we understand. I, I was ready for, like, some sci-fi kind of That That was, like, real. That was, like, you're in the ER kind of crap. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Ugh. Let's go back to my place. Your place? Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, she just saw a compound fracture, but she still wants to f That's just how the hoes shake it off. She's like, oh, that, now that's my level of physical prowess. He's doing jumping jacks off the damn ceiling. I'm more like this hoe. I can't make it up about two flights of stairs where I have to sit down. He's still got that on his back. Wow, that's interesting. I want you to go through. No, I don't want to try that. I don't want to. I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. No, <gasps> be afraid. Be very afraid. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I live with my mother too. She thought about it for a minute, though. <laughs> Could it be? She's doing the math. And she ain't good at math. Those weird hairs that were growing out of your back, I took them to a lab. They were definitely not human. Oh. <laughs> Very likely insect hairs. You'll do anything to bring me down. Does this look like a sick man to you? No! You don't look well. Don't come back. Oh, My purse is in there. Yeah, not good, dude. Oh, yeah, that's up there. That that would that would concern me. That that's the the fingernails coming off is up there with the teeth falling out. Dude, you only have eight left. Stop picking them off. I would like instantly puke. I would like instantly puke if that was me. I'd be so like freaked out. What's happening to me? Am I dying? Yeah, yeah, he's got the gloves on. I would be in the same, but I'd be scotch taping those things back on and putting some gloves on. <gasps> oh. Don't chew on the fingers. There you go, fusion, yep. to love him. Seth. I've gotten much, much worse. Oh. Seth. I'm here. I wouldn't want to Oh you. my God. What happened? <gasps> oh yes, yeah, it's a totally thriller. Okay, all kidding aside, they're like non-joke time. Wow, here we go with the makeup. The makeup and the effects, the hair, I mean. It's disgusting. I mean, so well done. You know, that's the goal, right? I'm the offspring of Brundle and Housefly. What do you want me to do? Why did you call me? Oh! oh that's disgusting. <sighs> A little bit. <gasps> She's like, I'm gonna go. I'm just, I'm just gonna go. I'm scared. Oh! <laughs> Oh my God! Don't don't hug too tight, girl. Don't go back to him. That's your advice. It could be contagious. It could turn into an epidemic. I have to go back to him. You say, if only I saw him. Show me. Seth. Oh. Got a pretty good at it, haven't I? Oh, look at this. What's this? I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, he's lost it now. I mean, and can you blame him? I mean... I can't take it. It's too much. That's what it takes. Oh, my God. More. His teeth. Look at his teeth. They're, the they're like... What does the disease want? Turn me into something else. Is it most people would give anything to be turned into something else. Turned into Not what? Not that. What do you think, a fly? Don't you think that's worth a Nobel Prize or two? Who's going to accept it? You can't show up like that. Demonstration that I think you'll want to... Uh... I love that with all the chaos in his apartment and all the shit everywhere, he still takes the care to put the lens cap on the lens of the camera because, you know, priorities. Oh, look time. at his arms. How does Brundlefly eat? His teeth are now useless. Brundlefly breaks down solids with a corrosive enzyme. It liquefies and then he sucks it back up. Ready for a demonstration, kids? No. 
Not really. My God. I'm pregnant. Oh. Oh. I'm pregnant with Seth's baby. Probably babies, depending on when that happened. Okay, dramatic. You don't need a I'm wheelchair. I'm scared. Every mother with their first child. Yeah, it's coming out on. Oh, I don't even think we're going to have to go. Oh. That. It's going to be easy. Don't worry, honey. This scene hold must on, have been, I'm guessing, kind of controversial at the time. You know, you don't you often see this depicted so graphically. No. You can push it up. You can push it up. Come on. Push. Oh. That's it. Come on. Come on. No, wait, wait. No. Oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, God damn it, they got me. I, just when I thought I was a smart man, I walked right into it. Well, that was effective. Even if it was a dream, that was effective. Yeah, pull those sheets up. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a pull your knees into your chest kind of moment, Gene. Oh my God. Is that even Jeff Goldblum in there? Oh no, you can't get in anymore. Oh, and there's the other thing I worry about, the teeth. There you go. That's got the Mike Tyson look. <gasps> oh, why do you even have mirrors at this point? Artifacts of a bygone era. Oh my God, he's saving all of his pieces. She's like, is that you? My teeth have begun to fall out. Just the catching you up on what's going on with me. Brundle Museum of Natural History. I wanted to see you. You have to leave now. And never come back here. I'd like to become the first insect politician. You see, I'd like to... His mannerisms, his, his, I mean, i got to give Jeff Goldblum credit. His acting is really, really amazing right now. My God. I'll hurt you if you stay. How many hours must he have spent in the makeup chair? Like, you know, everyone else, like, Gina Davis has to show up at, like, 7, right, to get ready. But he's got to be there at, like, 3 a.m. I couldn't tell. <laughs> Let's go oh, down. so she really no. is pregnant. It was just, the, oh, the dream part was the birth, but she really is pregnant. Oh, wow. I want it out of my body now. <laughs> oh, the twitching alone. I mean, so well done. She's pregnant and she wants to have an abortion. In the middle of the night? I want an abortion. I'll do it myself if I have to. Fly paper. Okay, if you'll just slip into that, we'll be on our way in no time. Oh my god! Okay, I was not expecting that. God damn, right when I finally started relaxing a little bit. By the way, she hugs him and an ear falls off. He comes through a goddamn glass window and he looks just fine. Well, it doesn't look just fine, but I mean, he's still intact. That really scared me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, well done, fly. The baby might be all that's left of the real me. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's a piece of him. Well, you know, besides the pieces of him that are falling off. The smell alone. Joking aside, I like the way that they have paid special attention to the set decoration. You know, that they show the, the filthiness of it. How, you know, like when you usually associate where you would find flies, sometimes it's anything from garbage to literal crap. So, I mean... This is the environment you would expect to see from someone who would be a fly hybrid, you know? Pretty great attention to detail there. Oh my God, dude, what if you shot a gun like once in your entire life? Just don't even try. Hmm. Well, what did you think you were gonna find there? See, I told you he never shot a gun. Oh my God. You gave us that easy, dude. Oh. Oh, regurgitation, yeah. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna sting, particle. Sting. Wow. 
there go those special effects I was looking forward to. Oh, he's gonna take ah. part limb by limb. Oh. That's really dope. That's really gross. No, don't. Please. He's like, hold on, I'll come up there. Can't keep my fingernails or teeth in, but I can climb a wall still and not lose a finger. Make of that what you will. Like falls off. I mean, guys, look, you know, hey, mea culpa for like saying that Jeff Goldblum was your typical Jeff Goldblum earlier. My God, how did... Give the man an Oscar for this. Jesus Christ. You, me, and the baby. Together. Oh. A family of three joined together in one body. This is the transformation. <laughs> the effects. Oh my god. Oh my god. My compliments to the special effects team. The long fly. Okay. Go along with it, but. You're right. Oh, it's kind of pitiful. Poor thing. Oh, my God. Just still do it. Put him out of his misery. Yeah, he's like, just, just I can't take it. Just take me out. No, I can't. <laughs> wow. Okay, so. Let's break that down, shall we? So I already know where I want to start. Sometimes whenever I, I get into this outro section of the video, I never really know where I kind of want to go with it. And I always tell myself I'm going to start making notes so I can get my thoughts in order. But this is the rare example where I already know where I want to start by what is on the screen right now. So currently what I'm looking at it says, the fly created and designed by Chris Wallace, Wallace, I'm guessing, Inc. That tells you right there where the priority is with this film, okay? A lot of times, you know, when the credits start rolling, it'll be directed by or, you know, they'll start doing the cast list, you know, with the top credits first and then on the way down. This one starts right off with The Fly Was Created and Designed by, by Chris Wallace, Inc. And that tells you how amazing and how much work went into the special effects. And let's face it. It's why I was here and it's why you guys recommended it. And that is what I firmly believe because this was pretty badass. I feel like there was a meeting in Burbank where this idea was floated and executives around a big conference table said, are you f***ing kidding me? You want to do a movie where we turn a guy into a fly and it's I know it's based on a 50s film, uh, but no. And they were like, oh, just, just wait. Come in, Chris Wallace Inc. Show them the show them the storyboard. Show them the art, and they look at it and they're like, "Oh yeah, oh f sold, f sold." Because this was truly, truly amazing. And you guys already know what I'm gonna say, uh, but I'll say it anyway. The fact that this was practical effects, mostly from what I understand, if not completely. Obviously, I f I saw and felt the throwback to the thing. Uh, you can clearly tell that there was some inspiration, in my opinion, from that with this. Uh, I definitely felt it watching it, uh, but then segueing into like the next thing I wanted to talk about, which is Jeff Goldblum's performance alone. Whoa. I mean, at the beginning, I felt a little bit of the, you know, typical Goldblum performance. The Chinese food comes from, from the Chinese. I mean, then we get into like that acting at the end with the twitching and, and, and with the, with the mannerisms and, and those little idiosyncrasies. 
that I don't know if they were written in the script, if they were just all him or a combination of both, but wow, well done, well done. Uh, even Gina Davis, you know, I mean, I kind of make fun of Gina Davis with Gina with the two E's, but, you know, she did really great. I can't even imagine trying to act against what she was looking at. And, and you know, you have to take yourself out of, you know, what you're watching and think about that this was all filmed somewhere on like a sound stage and they're dropping like meat or whatever to be the pieces of his body. And she's having to act against this, you know, in those shoulder pads and that perm. I mean, it, that also deserves just special mention in my opinion. So yeah, I mean, well done, you guys. Great recommendation. I have no complaints. Thank you for watching the video. If you found value in it whatsoever, I would appreciate a like. If you have not subscribed, as I said earlier, please subscribe. We have fun over here. I have fun doing these videos. It's all for you guys. So I would certainly appreciate that. Regardless, you guys have a great rest of the week and I will see you in the next one.